so that's so that's your rib rib eye, isn't it? So cool. Yeah. Rib eye through there. Yeah. Your back rib, and then you just yeah. got your your shoulder and neck trim. Yeah. You've got your top sides. Yeah, you've got your sirloin fillet rump and um, brevets and that there. And here you've got your brisket and your and your shin on the front. Sweet. So, yeah, you can get your fours hammer out there if you want one of them and. It's a it's a big lump of meat, isn't it's it? A big so, lump of meat. Yeah. That's a dinner party dish. Isn't that it? is it's a dinner party dish. dish. Yeah. It's, a, it's a slow cooked dish, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. But you, you go around there because you want to see where he wants to yeah. cut these oh, bits. Oh. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's left hand, so he's bloody awkward. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Oh, Jody. Yeah. So Hello. Jody's <laughs> come to. Well, he's brought half a bullock off us, and he's come to um, learn a little bit how to. How to trim it out. So. That is impressive. Yeah. You see, the, they're the money money parts, aren't they? The fillet steak. And, Wait, so. listen, I you no, assume by the time you've got the steaks off, you've soon got all your money. What? Off, well, off I, of, I was uh, working with uh, one company in Ireland and they were. The, the, the price of beef shot through the roof basically because yeah. there, there was a short shortage of supply when restaurants opened up again yeah. and things like that because uh, there was a time when well it was, still, was cheap really. still cold cows you watch you watch at the market they're the, they're the smaller of the cold cows sort of killing out the same size of a bullock yeah. and making <coughs> just as much money as a fat bullock and you know for a fact you're going to be eating that steak yeah. In Brewers Fair or somewhere. Yes. Yes, yeah. and yeah. you know why now that steak is so. Um, yeah. So removing the rump now. So you know why that that steak is so so terrible. Yeah. No. I, no. I, yeah. Because I. Cause, well, I think like, during like lockdown, because um, obviously the restaurants and the, that, that industry was shut down basically. Yeah. It like cheap, didn't it? Yeah, really? it did. Yeah. Um, not 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 for us. We found lockdown. Well, I think people shopped for like good yeah, butchers. Yeah, but like we, we lost a lot of money during lockdown. I, yeah, I don't that's, doubt it. Um, so that's the rump. That's, that's the rump. That's the rump yep. There's a rump on the bones, so the bones still got be, but got be removed from it. So, yeah. and then you've got your rump and now you're on your sirloin. <coughs> sirloin. So, what's it hung for now? Is it six weeks? Five weeks? No. It feels about five weeks. Five weeks, yeah. Yeah. So five weeks hung. Yeah, I think I was trying to work out last night and without looking at the paperwork. So I'll go back through messages, yeah, it five was sort weeks. Of towards mid to end of December that I yeah. made contact yeah. with. Yeah. Just, just trim yeah, to go into mince, mincer burgers. Yeah. yeah. That's, good, really. That's a nice filler, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that weighs. A, what, what does it weigh, Ben? <coughs> We've got an ancient set of scales and they're very temperamental, but I won't get rid of them because they're. Some minus a bit. Well, no, no, no. They're just turning them on. It's, once they're on, they're on all day, but yeah. getting them old, it could be um, such a guy, but they were a, a good friend of mine and she, she's passed away, so oh, right. and she had them in her shop and like two and a half kilos, two and a half kilos yeah. So, that's a good size. What's two and a half kilos money wise? So that's 90, so it's 110, 115 yeah, quid. Yeah. yeah. So scary, isn't it? But that's like worth over 100 pounds for that. Yeah. Little piece of meat. <laughs> little piece of meat. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be trimmed a little bit, yeah, so you'll lose a. But yeah, um, well, I think it's nicer left as it is, but um, but well, yeah, and it, cooked and trimmed. I prefer a little bit of fat left on. Yeah, and, and trim it off when you need to, yes. if you need yeah. to. So it's um. If, I, if, if ever I cook steaks, I, I never get a thin steak ever. No. Um, I'd rather get one steak that will serve two or three people. It's just more forgiving on the yeah, cook. That's and, why we want our bullocks at the the weights that we're doing them at, rather than taking them onto one seventy, one eighty, yeah. doing a one thirty, one fifty bullock. Yeah. We we, I think we get the right width for steak. Yeah. When we start jumping up above that, sort yeah. of the, the, some of the bigger Angus is coming through. We're better off sending that to market or, or to to another butchers or yeah. something like that, rather than um, not producing a product that you want to sell. Sort yeah. Of thing, so. So, hence the reason we swapped to sort of Galloway balls is to try and yeah just reduce the overall 
cow size to reduce the overall. Well, see, yes, because yes, you might have a bigger, <coughs> bigger bit of cattle there, but you're not getting more meat, are you? No, really? no. For, for for the farm itself, we're not making any more money because it's the the butcher is a separate yeah. entity, so it's um, that's the one that does does the better if it ends up with a bigger bullock. So. <coughs> Yeah. But there's no there's no real reason for us to have yeah. gigantic bullocks, so it's, it's almost like Robin Peter Pay Paul that sort of yeah. thing. So it's so it moves these bows and sort of one at a So how old would this bullock have been? About twenty two months. Right. Yeah, twenty maybe twenty four months. That's a Hereford Hereford Cross Shorthorn, it's quite a nice bullock actually. It was a lovely friend of the look. <laughs> it's, um... I, said, I, I like the fact you always, because you, you know your animals, don't you? So you, you... Yeah, this, this one always used to come over, sadly, and it's not, not for everybody's <laughs> here. This one always used to come over and say hello. Over. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it did, it, it come over and um, it'd always want a, want a bit of a fuss. Yeah? Yeah. But, <laughs> but, Let's get the fuss made of it now. Yeah. Just put that <laughs> There's no need to treat some animals don't want, never want to come and see you, they're happy just to be there. Yeah. Some some for some reason just become friendly for it's just in their nature, isn't I it? Guess so, so. I and guess you so. you haven't got to be horrible to them just because you're gonna eat them you, so mm. if they want a pet, they can have a pet, can't they? So okay. but, um, it does make it harder on the, the younger ones to Yeah, I told you that they could be funny. <laughs> it's a, If you ever want to get your hands in there, you can just say, can I have a go at something? And you I'm, can, I'm yeah. enjoying watching Watch it, yeah. at the minute. You know, this is not the easiest bit. To, to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good to see an expert on the... I'm just impressed by the meat, actually. It's, the colour of it is fantastic. It's, it's quite nice, isn't it? So. A little bit more time and effort's put into... Obviously trimming out a, a bit of sirloin and a... Yeah. Rather than sheeting it out as one big piece and then finding you've left half your sirloin on the bone. <laughs> yeah. Yes. An expensive, yeah. an expensive way of doing things. So, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I guess what, 40 pound a kilo now. Uh, yeah, about, uh, about 26 on sirloin, I think. So, mm -hmm. yeah, about 45 on fillet it's sort of um because ribeye is dear as well ribeye is the dearest of all of it for us so um i think for an eight ounce we're about 10 pounds something on a on a sirloin yeah and we're about 12 pounds 25 on a ribeye but just ribeye there's only five ribs yeah so there's not the biggest amount of um steaks but they're in such high demand for so many different things people buy fillet but yeah. lots of people buy tomahawks Back rib, yeah. they buy ribeye. And, and to be honest, ribeye is my preferred. It's the better. Steak. It's the better steak. So you've got that decent bit of fat in there. Yeah, it? but we struggle to keep up with supply on oh, on ribeye, right, so yeah. it's, it demands just a little bit more money. And it's it's one of those steaks I think you know it needs to be cooked a little bit more, you know, medium rather than like yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's not a, yeah because you want to render that fat out. Yeah, you? you get a nice fatty one. Yeah. Isn't it? absolutely gorgeous. But then we've got customers out there that don't like the fat, so. There you go, all the bones are out. They keep the bones. Do you want a piece of this rolled or? Uh, yes, yeah. Let's do, yeah. Well, how, how big a piece? Because I'll leave this plate on. Right. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. So roll this bit. Is it like a roast steak joint? Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah? Perfect. Now we've got to make sure we mark these up right, because you don't want to be cooking somebody that does think there's a bit of top side. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> So I'll take the roll if you want. Yeah. <coughs> Let's have a look at that in a little while. You can cut your own steaks if you want. So uh, yeah, because I, I, like, I like quite a hefty steak. To be honest, so, so, so I could eat. Nice, isn't it? No, it eat really nice. Nice, that is stunning. That mm. was a happy cow. <laughs> <laughs> it was a happy cow. <laughs> that was a happy cow. <laughs> Can I? Is that all yeah. I use or not? Um. Than you think the cup for that last little yeah, bit, and yeah, uh, 
Sort of Got the crust on it from the from the hanging and yeah. aging. Look at that for a steak. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that is one big steak. That, but, yeah. You know, I'd rather I'd rather have it over two days than you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing how so many people want so many different things out of uh, you know that that you know that will feed two people easy it? yeah. Beautiful. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just cut them nice and square as well. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, I'm a bit of a, maybe have a little bit of OCD. <laughs> so. well, some people have cut them as wonky as anything. You think, how are you going to cut that? Cook that. Yeah, Ped like likes cut, cutting them wonky, don't you, Ped? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like them to be nice and even because then they cook evenly. Yeah, yeah. They present, nicely, they? present better as well, don't they? But yeah, I, I, I don't know. My, my, my background is food science, so right. I don't know whether that that kind of OCD ness yeah. so it sort of stays with me, don't they? But, but Look at him. That's a lovely five massive steaks and a piece of rolled sirloin. So have you rolled meat before? I haven't. No, so I can give you a quick um, yeah, let's do that. demo on that. So that's just the various bits of trim. Oh, so like yeah. That. So just have a, a trim tray, yeah. Piece of rump. Wow. wow. So you, you can, these are not so easy to cut as a sort of nice steak, are you? You're more than welcome no. to cut these. But, um, Give me a cut one and go ahead. Yeah, you go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Play How thick do you, you tell him where to put the knife? Uh, yeah. A little bit thicker, please. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, Cole. That again would probably be a barbecue job. Yeah. Of, um, you got the freezer all fired up, ready? Oh yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I, I've got too many freezers. No. <laughs> so, so, um, that is a, look at the colour of that. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. That's good. Let's have a, let's have a go. <coughs> I hate cutting the rubbers. I find it moves a little bit when you're cutting it, yeah. doesn't it? It's sort of um. There you go. You can get a job here. That's yeah. it. <laughs> that's it. Well, like I said, I never, I don't ever buy a steak for one person. It's always for two or three people. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's just easy to cook. Yes. You can see why you get different size. Like yes. We said it in three different size areas, and people also ask for different sizes as well. Mm. But you can see now it goes narrow. Eh? You get yeah. less on each cut. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a shin. Is that off the back leg? Is it? So it's off the top side. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Jody wants a fours hammer. Yeah. So, <laughs> he's had to go for a new um, new saw blade. So a new we um, we have hook eye saws, yeah. and you can't buy them. You have to rent them. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's an old salesman comes around twice a year with all their new blades, yeah. and we pay a rental on the rental on the saw. I can't remember. I, I think. Well, no, because yeah, because like the, the, my my dad, he was a commercial butcher. Yeah. Um, it used to be a company in Spalding called Turner Turkey. Yeah. And he used to work there. Um, he's the only he ever really used was the core and knives and stuff like that. So. Um, for like the butchery stuff that I do, I've got 
got Victorian Arch knowledge because they're just yeah, yeah. stock items sort of yeah. and they're good and they're doing what they need to do. Um, but like the, the more sort of domestic cooking, they're, they're different knives sort of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've got some fancy knives and some just working knives. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty much when they want a knife, they just ask the, the hook eye bloke, didn't you? Yeah. And he just gets you new knives. A little bloke comes in, David, and cool, he can sharpen a knife, can't he? He can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, he usually has a Tuesday sharp everybody's knife for him. So if, if you've got a knife. skill in its own right. Yeah, yeah. he's got just about every bit of kit to sharpen a knife with, doesn't he? It's yeah. sort of, um, he's a bit OCD on knife oh, sharpening. Yeah. <laughs> the force hammer's fairly straightforward cut, really. Just. Look at it. I'm looking at the marrow in the bone. It looks lovely. Cook slow enough, you can get a, get a meal out of that as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Good time, a bit of string to hold it on, didn't we? That is yeah. stunning. Yeah. That is. Look at that feast. <laughs> that's a lump. That's a meal on its own for a few people there, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's a real slow cook. You can't rush cook that because no, 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 that no. shin is as tough as yeah. tough as it comes, really, isn't it? So they get all the flavour on a nice slow cook. Yeah, that's a, that's a hefty beast. Yeah. Spin it a little bit. Sorry, a bit more. That's it. Nice. So H-brown out the top side. Always find this a tricky one. This is a job I don't like. So that's basically the, the, the shoulder. No, oh, that's the, the hip. That's the hip. hip, right. Yeah, so your top side's your back leg. Right, so, right, yeah. right. So that's your top sides, your silver sides, and your okay. sort of... Um, Roasting joints. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's the bit that amazes because that's, for me, that's, that, I just see one piece of meat there. Yeah. Yes, the conversion into silver side, top side, you get one, one two, three, four, five, six. You get about seven rolls of top side. Really? Yeah. And I didn't realise, right, okay, um, and I learned this in the factory. This is a bit like we just pop pull that out, so. Right. That's a technique, isn't it? Yeah, this is if Ped's not here, he has to do this before he goes. If not, <laughs> I'll take it to his house and he has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well what normally happens is the saw comes out, I'll just cut the whole bloody thing off. <laughs> hack, hack and everybody off. Get, everybody gets more mints that week, so <laughs> I'm not a profit. I'm not a profitable butcher when I'm in here. So frustrating butcher. <laughs> yes. And so I, I didn't realise that the salmon cut was piece of beef was called that because it looks like side of salmon. Yes. It's, yes. That's a cut out of there, isn't yeah, it? There's, yeah. there's one piece in there that comes out looking like that. That's a, no, I'm just gonna trim them. That's a good bit of stock bone, isn't that? Yeah, so. And then this will get broken down, like you say, all the different top side cuts, yeah. like for your silver side, like your salmon cut, your best side. <coughs> yeah. It's a corner piece, isn't there? It's a corner lump piece. Eight bone, yeah. Eight bone, yeah. So. This, it's the fact that you, this is the, well, the skill, the real skill, because you. Yes, this is where it starts coming. Anybody can do this, the steak end, I think. Look, getting the sirloin off as nice as that is hard work. But now when you start breaking down these other bits of beef... Because you just... Muscles within muscles, isn't it? Sort of thing, yeah? so and there's some sinews and, and layers running through them. And if you just cut it wrong, you end up with the worst eating piece of beef going. And ironically, these are the... People out there know... So you keep... That's your two bits of silver. All right. So you okay. keep them together. Yeah. And you know to go down this... Okay, yeah. ...side. And then the other side will be this side. Okay, okay, okay. That's a silly question, but is, is every side of beef different, or they all sort of? Because obviously, big, big different size cattle and things like that. So. No, they will be the same, but the opposite sides. Right. When you start playing yeah, them yeah, out, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. Left or the right, yeah. yeah. But it is just the handling of the the fatty or the leaner. It, it, if they come out, so you see the seam running down there, yeah, the yeah. middle there. Yeah. That's what you've got to learn to follow. And once yeah. you know where they are, it isn't too bad. It's the same in the pig as the seams. Perhaps yeah. less, less joints come off a pig. And, and there's, I don't know, there's certain rules of cutting, you know, like you're cutting at the fifth rib or something like that to make the yes. shoulder or whatever yes. it is sort of thing. So 
that, that pretty those. much goes through. You always cut the fifth rib on a pig, a lamb, everything, isn't it? Yeah. So cut mm. cow back your fifth rib, and um, so there is stuff. I mean, you're boning out a, a pork leg for because we don't like doing a, well, I don't like doing a whole leg joint. Yeah. So Ped has to seam a pork leg out as well. Yeah. Just so we find we get a slightly longer crackling joint rather than a yeah, small yeah. round one yeah, yeah, with not much crackling on it. So. <coughs> and there's a seam in that as well, isn't there? Uh, not this one, this one. That one, yeah. yeah. So you've got your best side. That side, top side, this here. Right. And you got your middle piece. Okay. That's essentially your rough side. Right. Okay. Like you would on a shoulder pork. Right. You got your shoulder, and then you got your rough side, which goes into yeah. sausages. Yeah. Okay, that bit. Can mm. be your mince or whatever sort of thing. You can do, or you can really, really trim it out. Yeah. It does make a nice eat. It does make a nice eating please actually, yeah. doesn't it? Because it's but it's a small joint, right? Yeah. yeah Once it's all trimmed out, and we do some little seven fifty joints, oh, yeah. and that, I find that actually eats quite quite nicely because it's like the the shoulder. Yeah. Once once done right, it's a it's a better tasting joint. Yeah, slice it nice and thin. Yeah. And then, you know, once it's cooked. And... I guess well, these these are the muscles that've done the work, haven't they? Really? Yeah, a lot of work on the back leg, isn't it? Yeah. But not as much as a neck, if you think lifting up and down yeah. all day, yeah. and yeah. that front bit of shoulders probably does the maximum amount of work. Yeah. Size that bone. <laughs> <laughs> you need a big dog for that one. <laughs> I think one of my terriers going for a while, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's just the size of one of them. Uh, that's a beast. Get the expression of the dog with a bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. It kind of puts some perspective to the, the size of the animal, though, doesn't it, really? You know, so yeah. It's... I mean, no, so so that's all the hind quarter done, then, isn't it? So yeah. you've got your, all your various topside joints. Steaks, everything else out, bit of stew. So now you're on the four quarter, so yep. minus the minus the brisket and the and the shin. So this is probably the most valuable bit. Five, always five. It's, it's the rule of five, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. That is the biggest selling five. So you don't sell that bit right, you ain't worth selling it at all, is it? <laughs> it's, um... Look at that. That is sensational. <coughs> So that's your prime rib. If it's cut back to there, so that's, that's your that's, that's like your rib eyes. There's your tomahawks. Mm. That's everything in there, isn't it? So yeah. you can, yeah. Wow. There's so many different ways of selling that that are all sort of high value, and they've got to stay a high value because yeah. that's that's really what you what you need. So what you're doing here now? The neck and cloth. Neck, neck and cloth coming off. Mm. This piece here, on this end, so the back rib, I think is the tastiest piece on the bullet. That's my go-to roasting joint. Yeah? Yeah, that's, um, is it, if we have a roast, what do I ask for? Back rib, yeah. Back rib every time. Well, on the bone, or? No, I, I don't care how it comes, right. but generally off of the bone we have it. Um, and I like it wrapped in peach paper and I cook it all day. Yeah. And then when the, when a skewer goes through it, like butter. That's when you're up. Then we have it. But it is a slow, just yeah. nice slow and low. We cook it in the peach paper in a tray of water. Yeah. And um, find that really, really nice. And that's another thing that you've got to do, because obviously you wrap. Eco wrapping, yeah. so. Yeah, I part, like yeah, I mean, we can put some of yours in eco wrap if you, if you want to. We are generally 90% plastic free. Is this 
Yeah. yeah. So there's only things like liver and that that generally go out of here. Yeah. And we do a bit of boxed meat for other people, um, cut other people's up. up. Um, you see, that's caught the that's caught the aging a lot, hasn't that it? That is the, stunning. Yeah, that is stunning. <laughs> there's some people that turn pass it over here, please. Let's have a look. Some people are turning their nose off at that, but you can that's look at that black side. Nose. Yeah, but that's that's flavour. That's adding the flavour. That's so. flavour. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the fat in there as well. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Another another tough piece of bit of, bit of neck there. So maybe two on the bone roasting joints, sort of thing. So two primary, yeah. Two prime, and then I don't know, cut them short, and then I don't know what, what which bit is like the Jacob's ladder sort of thing on the, the best on, bit. Is, is oh, Jacob's ladder is off of that end, yeah. It's off of that end. So yeah, like keep, keep yeah. them, yeah, keep that, and then I can sort of do slow roast on those ribs, sort of thing. So, uh, right, yeah, if that makes sense. So, do you want a five bone Jacobs? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And then two, two prime, two prime ribs. Yes, please. two single bones. Yes. And what do I do with the other three? Leave it as a roasting joint, or something like that. So, a three bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no rib eyes. You know what? I've got ribeye in the freezer already. You have, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I, I can, I can convert that myself to some fancy. Yeah, you ribeye. can. Yes, yeah. Um, very quickly. Yeah. Probably not nowhere near as skilled as you guys. Can. No, no, it cuts a cut, and then you only got to fill it out, don't you? Whenever we do ribeyes, we, we cut them off the bone. Yeah. We never, we never bone it out to do ribeyes, right? Because you never know what the next sale is. True. Um, yeah, because once it's gone, it's gone. Isn't Do you it? want a two bone and a three bone, then basically? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Do you want it trimed? What's that mean? So I can French trim it, and then I was trying this bit off. Uh, you yeah, want you want the chime off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you want to have a go at sheeting out or anything? You know, I'm just enjoying watching it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it's, yeah. It's, it's quite, just yeah. watch is quite therapeutic to be honest. Yeah. I prefer watching than doing <laughs> so, This is the brisket. I just know I wouldn't do it justice, let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I find brisket not the easiest one. It's not difficult though, is it? No. You could, could, you, could, you could muck up the brisket and get away with it. Because it'll just tie in and nobody... I'd do that with a belly of pork or something like that. And, but, uh, but I don't know, I just feel like I wouldn't... Beef just seems that bit more daunting, yeah, isn't it? it yeah, it does, yeah. Always, when, I, when I hand in a pig, there isn't any exceptionally high value items on it. It's just, everything's got roughly the same value. There's some yeah. bits worth a bit more, a bit less. But if you bugger it up, it could still make a good sausage. Yeah, that's very <laughs> so I don't, when I go at a pig, I just think, yeah. you know what? There's plenty of sausages sold yeah. this week, so you could take it as. Um, that's very true. Actually. Yeah. I, it does always mesmerise me when I go at a bullock. Yeah. It's, I just the risk. Yeah, you, you're anywhere from six pounds sixty six a kilo to forty five pound a kilo and and more, and yeah. you just think there is no room for error. Yeah. It's, It does amaze me the price of pork, really, in, in 
how relatively cheap it is. I, I, it, it's wrong. I firmly believe that we don't pay enough for food in this country. We don't pay enough for pork. Well, definitely pork. Yeah, yeah, the commercial pork, it, it's, it's, it, it's really not a nice place to be. You've got to think, this bullock could really, apart from land rent, so if, you, if you're on hills or moors or something like that, and yeah. these are grass-fed, say, and yeah. they're out for 18, 20 months, 22 months, or whatever, there's very little input apart from the cost of the animals yep. you look at them pigs and they eat a tremendous yeah. amount of grain and and soya and everything else they're, they're on the cost of production for that few penny reward yeah and it's the same with chickens things like that yeah well. yeah. yeah it's um just not enough for the amount of protein that us as a us are getting off of that meat and when you look at sort of say like you look at america or you look at australia you know relatively similar sort of incomes and yeah. the cost of food out there is a lot dearer than it is here. Yeah. In England has got quite a few different things quite wrong. Yes. It's a nice bit of brisket really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah isn't it? Your, your venison and things like that. Where does that come from? Is it so? Um